Hey yo, what's up guys? So by Black Max in the building. So today we have another interesting video. This one is from a Ghanaian called Wadamaya. And I know some of you guys know who is Wadamaya. But we're gonna be reacting how two Gambians build five most romantic resort in Gambia. And I found this very interesting. I hope it's true. But with that being said, you know, let's watch this video and see if it's true or not. And yeah. Africa is the new frontier. Nobody's kidding us about this. If anyone tells us that African, Africa can develop, they are only trying to put us down. We have to realize that a lot of the wealth in the world is created where we are standing on. Here in Africa, we have all the resources we need. We have everything, literally. That's, everybody will say that, yes, but we don't know how to put it in use. While other countries, European Americans, they do. We need to start realizing that this is where it is. Get together as Africans and do what other people are doing. Exactly. Get together as an Africans. I think that's also one of the biggest problems we have in Africa. We are not together. We are divided. We fight each other. For what? For money? Well. This looks like Tamala. I think this is Tamala. Yes. This could be. I see the joke there, an African, but not an African, like C A N T. Funny. I saw that on your T-shirt, actually. Oh, you saw that on Absolutely. my T-shirt. Absolutely, I notice all these small details always. Oh wow! Because yeah. I'm trying to tell Africans <laughs> that it's possible in Africa. Yes. My name is Watermaya, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. Tell me your name, who you are, and I mean, what do you do? I am Malesala, um, a Gambian. Okay. I'm a village boy too. Because uh, I come from the ghetto, my family comes from the ghetto in Banjul. They, actually, it's an area that was called, that, that is called Half Dai. Why is it called Half Dai? Because there was a pandemic and it killed half of the population. Oh. So it's a very historic part of Banjul, but um, it, where, where a lot of migrants who moved in the, into the Gambia went to live. And eventually, it actually produced a lot of leaders for this country. So you are a descendant of a migrant? I am a descendant of a migrant. My, fa my grandfather was from St. Louis in Senegal. Oh. Yes. So you were born and raised in the Gambia? Born and raised in the Gambia from a Gambian father. And my mother, she passed away four months ago. May Allah grant her the highest Jannah. And uh, she was a wonderful woman. But uh, she, she was from Suriname. Mm. Yes, Suriname in South America. Whoa! Yes. So this is like Caribbean represent. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's an African Caribbean whole mixture. Amazing. You <laughs> ever left the continent? I have. I uh, actually went to school in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, I uh, went to school uh, and lived in the U.S. for 12 years, and at the completion of my education, I decided to come back to my uh, homeland. You. you I thought you got all your money that you're supposed to get in the U.S. before you moved in here. There's something. U.S. ain't giving you no money, my brother. Come on. If you're saying U.S. is not giving you money, I doubt that. I doubt it. That's, that's all I can say. I doubt it. I don't know, unless you tell me. Uncle I've, Sam. I've, haven't I've, you heard of the no, Uncle Sam no, phenomenon? No, I've never been there. <laughs> what does the Uncle Sam phenomenon mean? Uncle Sam gives, but Uncle Sam takes more than he gives. Wow, I'm learning that for the first time. So, this is where it is. Our motherland, our fatherland, our homeland, Africa, is where it is. You can't this is where a lot of the wealth of the world actually is made. They come and take what we own and go and make money with it and come and sell it back to us. Yeah, because at least they are the wise people. Us, we are dumb. <laughs> no offense, again, no offense, I'm sorry. I mean, I shouldn't say it like that, but, but you guys understand what I mean. Anyways, you guys understand what I mean. We must take some of the blame. We, have, exactly. we, we must take some of the blame, but yeah, it's time see, for us to wake up point. and take responsibility and take charge of our destiny. Thank you. So this is what brought two Gambians mm. back home. One went to school in the UK. I went to my partner, Omar Jawara. I went to school in, uh, in America. Okay. We came back home. I studied politics. He is a lawyer, childhood friends. And we decided to come together, form a partnership and start business. 
childhood friend. You guys grew up together in the Gambia. We grew up together, yes. We were basically almost living opposite each other. But, but from, from born and raised in the ghetto, how did you find yourself in America then? Actually, what happened, mm -hmm. um, our grandfathers, they educated on my side, he educated his children. My father became successful okay. and managed to be able to afford to send us to go to school in okay. the U.S. We didn't have a university in Gambia then. Now we do. Oh, okay. But then, when I was growing up, we had no university in the Gambia. So That's the sorry. only option we had was to go either to uh, a, a university in the sub-region or go to study in the States. So I was lucky enough to go to the States. I, uh, it was a very good experience for mm. me. Mm. It exposed me to the world. Mm. And I brought back everything I learned back home. That's really beautiful, man. Um, let me know. This hotel belongs to you and your friend. Yes. How many of this hotel have you built so far? We have five hotels. We, we own what? and operate five hotels. Five hotels? That's crazy, man. These people are making a lot of money. Well, what has money in Unite Gambia? I won't have respect. Boy, five hotels. Can you imagine how much is this, this guy is making? Ooh. Own and operate five hotels. Yes. And all of them are in the Gambia. They are all in the Gambia. Wow. So basically, we are the leaders in the hotel industry in the country. Before Obviously. we got into this business, um, Gambians had just started taking over this industry. Mm. Um, we got in the right place at the right time. And eventually, we became the biggest hoteliers in the country. Uh, let, me, let me understand, yeah. what is the inspiration behind you and your friend coming together to say that, you know what, let's build a hotel. What inspired that? Um, Basically, tourism contributes 25% to our GDP. Mm -hmm. So it's the most uh, important industry for this country. Um, agriculture is there, tourism is there, but... Uh, you know what, let's be honest. I think these people are billionaires right now, in Dallas, by the way. If you're managing five hotels, you're already a billionaire in Dallas. Not in dollars, though, but in Dallas, you're a billionaire. Let's be honest. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. ...in tourism. Hmm. And uh, we saw, we, 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 we realized that our world vision um, could be implemented quite well in developing the tourism sector of this country. Mm. And when we decided to come home, worked in the system, Omar was a prosecutor um, in, in the courts. And uh, I uh, actually worked with the Independent Electoral Commission of the Gambia. Okay. Um, after serving our nation um, publicly, we decided to get into a private partnership okay. and uh, develop this very important industry of our country. Gambia doesn't have oil, we don't have gold, we don't have bauxite. We have beautiful beach and we have wonderful sun and beautiful people, nice people, which is a good recipe for tourism. So we saw the opportunity there. Um, it was at that time mainly controlled by foreigners actually wow. and we decided that we were going to come into this industry and we are going to make this industry Gambian and show the whole world that we can do and it better over. than everybody else. I love this. I love the concept they have in the first place, you know. Instead of letting foreigners to take over the Gambia, we love to see our own people, own Gambians doing the same thing. You know, this is beautiful. I hope in the future there will be a lot of Gambians trying to do these type of things. Let's just hope so. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this video. And it's about Black Max. And I'm out. Peace.